Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to paint leaves with watercolors. So I'm going to mix a green color. Uh, my favorite green is to mix sap green with deep lemon yellow. So this is my sap green and this is my deep lemon yellow. Okay, so let's start with practicing. The thing is, thin, first of all, for this for this um, practice, you're going to need a round tip brush, and a round tip brush is a brush that is has that it's round and it has a pointy tip, because you're going to need to to, the, to use a very thin stroke and then a very f fat stroke and then go thin again. So the best way to do it is with a round pointy brush. So let's start with practicing the thinnest line we can get out of our, of our brush. And I'm going to do it by barely putting any pressure on my, on my brush and doing a C curve. A C curve is this. This is a C curve. So this is not the thinnest line. I'm going to need to put very little pressure on your brush to get a thin stroke so C curve C curve and C curve now let's practice the thickest line you can get out of your brush Mixing more sap green and deep yellow lemon, deep ye lemon yellow, and thick stroke, thick C curves. C curves. We also have an S curves. An S curve is this one. So it starts like this. Basically, it's an S. The letter S. Um, let's do more S's. <laughs> okay. So now to form the shape of the leaf, what you want to do is this. You want to start with the thinnest stroke you can get out of your brush you want to hold a lot like a good amount of paint with water because it's a one stroke it's actually two strokes but it's because the leaves is made of two parts but every part is like a one a single stroke so get a good amount of paint so you don't have to do it twice because the best way to do it is in one stroke so we start with a thin line and then, so we barely put pressure for, we do a very short thin line. We, first of all, we want to how, how we hold the brush. We want to hold, hold sorry, the brush in the, in the direction that we're painting our leaf. So if my leaf is going this way, I'm going to hold the brush like this. Okay. So I'm started with the thi starting with a thin stroke. Good, sorry, again. So I'm starting with a thin stroke. And then I'm putting more pressure on my leaf as I move on with the brush. And then I'm slowly lifting up, gradually going to the thin stroke again and taking more color. And then I'm doing it again, but this time I'm not starting with the, I don't need the short, the thin line again. I just need to start from the base of the leaf with the, with the thickest uh, stroke to begin with. So I start from here because I already have the thin line of the leaf. So I'm putting the most pressure and then I'm going up. Let's do it again. So barely any pressure, press it down and slowly lift up. 
do it again but this time start with the thickest stroke and slowly go thin let's do a longer leaf this time so you can see it so barely touching a lot of pressure and slowly lifting up taking more paint on my brush doing it again this time starting from the base of the leaf with the thickest stroke and lifting up again let's do a leaf that goes this way that curves so barely touching putting pressure and now when I'm when I, as I'm lifting up I'm curving so let's do it again barely touching putting pressure as I'm lifting up I'm curving and I can do smaller leaves I can do like this eucalyptus shaped leaves the silver dollar eucalyptus the round one when I do the eucalyptus I love to use mostly water barely have any color on my brush and I usually do it like in gray purplish color so the eucalyptus leaves I'm starting with a thin stroke thin stroke and then I'm going around I'm rounding my brush and I'm finishing the circle where the thin stroke starts I'm going to add some color so you can see it so you see the eucalyptus is more of a round chest round hearted so yes Do another one. Another one with more color so you can see the shape. Mm -mm. So I'm barely touching and then I'm going around. That's why you need a, a good brush that bounces back when you go around. Okay, let's do a bunch of leaves together. Let's do them on a branch. So for my branch I'm using burnt amber. And I'm just doing a thin branch, a C curve. And I'm cleaning my brush off from the burnt from the color and I want to do let's do let's do a pink like different shades of pinks. So I'm mixing I'm mixing well I have all sort of brands here. So this is Windsor Newton Rose and this is Van Gogh Rembrandt rose <laughs> i'm mixing it all together and i'm adding the opera pink is a very bright pink i love it windsor newton opera pink and i'm putting it in the mix so i'm not going i'm going to use a lot of water then more water than paint because i love this effect that you get when you do a leaf i'll show you so after i i took the after i filled my brush with the paint I'm, rinse, I'm rinsing it in, in water once quickly and I'm getting rid of excess water <clears throat> so now I'm starting turning my yes okay I'm starting obviously here and I'm going this way so let's do it like this I don't know what's more comfortable for you so let's just do it like this so I'm starting with a thin line 
putting pressure, slowly lifting up. And then, again, the other side, starting with a thick stroke, and slowly lifting up. And now I'm going to put more of a red, I'm going to put a red in, the, in this side of my mix, because I want to mix it up. I'm adding more rows, because it's more red than I intended. So more pinks. Okay. And I'm going to start this one here. I want them to touch each other. I love it when the color, you'll see it, when the color bleeds into each other. So I'm starting with a thin, thin stroke. <clears throat> it's going to go to this direction. So thin stroke, putting pressure, slowly lifting up. Do it again. And now I'm going to add a leaf here. And I'm going to add to do it. I'm going to mix everything together, all the pinks I mixed together. And add more of a more a bit more red maybe yes so what i wanted the, basically i wanted more pinkish more pink than this and redder than this one so <clears throat> and this time i'm not rinsing it let's do it here so barely touching putting pressure and lifting up again Okay, now I'm going to do another branch on this side. Again, a C curve. Let's also do some mini branch. Okay. Now I want to do it more in a purple purplish purple purple shades so I'm going to mix violet let's mix it here violet with rose with Van Gogh rose rinsing it once rinse it too much and Barely touching, going thick, lifting up. Okay, now I'm adding the mix I have on my brush with the pinks I'm having I have from before. Loading my brush with paint. And here you can see the branches leads the way. Of the like they show me why that what direction the flower should go. Now I'm cleaning my brush and I'm going for the other for the pinks that I have from before. Make it a little bit more purplish. Now I'm going to add some deep lemon yellow to the mix to make it more peachy. More of a peach color. So I'm taking a little bit of deep yellow lemon, putting it here, and taking some of the mix. Now it's like brown. You know what? Let's do it here. It's not really the color I wanted. Maybe I will add a bit more 
or the opera pink. I'm fine with that color. I want to do it before the other leaves um, dry because I want them to bleed into touch each other, touch each, each other while they're still wet, so they could bleed into each other. See how they bleed here and here. Sometimes you can just do do it with one stroke, like sometimes it's enough. If you're doing like a eucalyptus tree, you know when the, when its leaves are very long and they're not as fat. Like, for example, I want to make sure you see. So, like this type of leaf. Basically, you can do whatever you want. If you can come up with a new way to paint leaves and you're fine with it, do it. Different type of brushes will give you different type of leaves. This is a square brush. Square brush. Uh, you can make some type of a leaf with a square brush also. Although it's a square. You know, sometimes when you have a painting and you want to fill it up like if you like painting a flower arrangement and you need some leaves to fill up the gaps you can make all, all sorts of stuff with all sorts of brushes this is a fat brush that goes very thin at the end without any graduation so it goes fat and then thick immediately it goes thick uh, sorry it's like very thick and all of a sudden it's very thin so let's see what kind of what type of a leaf we get with that brush that was my dog nano <laughs> she's snoring like a piglet So can do really fat ones, small fat ones with this brush. I can easily do the eucalyptus, I think, with this one because it's so fat. You see, oh, now, now you can see the eucalyptus leaves that I was talking about before. They go around. Leading to each other. Can also go this direction. If you want them to like fall a little bit. Alright guys, I think we're done with the leaves tutorial. If you have any questions, 
I would be happy to hear about them in the comment section. So until the next video.